welcome to Empath Mountain Yoga to your gentle yoga class. Bring palms, kissing palms to the heart. Inhale, pressing them up high. Exhale to the right as you stack head over heart, over hips. Inhale the breath in and sending it away. Focusing on a three count inhalation. Exhaling back to center and then twisting to the left side. Inhale to the count of three. Exhale to the count of three. Welcome the breath in through the nostrils. Send away through the melted jaw. Inhale, hands to center in a namaste mudra. Bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Focusing on the inhalation and setting an intention for yourself, for your practice. Just honoring wherever you are in your journey of life. Wherever you are with any injuries or illnesses in the body, any emotions, just being present with yourself, knowing that this is your practice, your self-care time. Welcoming the breath in from the nose. Exhale the hands to the knees and then crisscross your feet in the opposite direction, rounding through the spine. And then coming forward for an arch for a seated cow and cat, really rounding the spine, tucking the chin in towards the tail, where you press into the knees. And allow yourself to smile because yoga doesn't always have to be so serious. Exhale, really arching the spine and just noticing as you take these postures, what it feels like as you exhale, shoulders side to side, taking small spirals with the nose small to a medium to a large to an extra large spiral and just noticing if you have any tension or tightness any ouchy spots can you linger there and inhale into the pain good come back to neutral and now in the opposite direction that small to medium let the breath carve a large to an extra large circle and just notice any tension or tightness that you're feeling in the neck and the shoulders and breathing love in for yourself. Sending it away. If you have blocks, they can be a helping friend here. Exhale the left hand down towards the mat or the block. Right hand sweeps up and over. Tapping into the shoulder, you can drive the elbow in and exhale, opening up through the elbow. And taking the breath at your own pace as you inhale. Exhale, sweeping that hand down and around, tapping into any tension or tightness in the shoulder. Inhale, the breath, find a stretch that feels good now coming. Bringing the block if this feels good to the right side. Hand reaches down towards the mat. Left hand sweeps up and over the head. Tapping into the shoulder and the elbow. You can drive it in towards the rib cage. Exhale. Press it away. Finding what feels good for you in your shoulder. Noticing any tension or tightness here, my lovely sweeping motion with the shoulder. Welcoming the breath. Exhaling it out and inhaling into a tabletop position. And if you have harder floors, you can use blocks or a blanket here and meeting yourself here in this hands and knees pose, stacking shoulders over wrists, creating that really round spine that we did in that seated posture and then exhaling for a cow pose. So an arching to a flexion of the spine. Here, rooting the hands down towards the earth and just being aware of whatever is happening in your shoulder and your spine. And you can take these cow and cats and as you can sink back into the sit bones. And when you're coming forward for the cat, driving above the wrist, really helping warm up, awaken the wrist, inhaling the breath, finding any tension or tightness and creating a release and now carving figure eights, the shoulders, all the way to the hips and the body, making that 
nice fluid motion, warming up the wrists, creating an awakening in the wrists, in the biceps, in the arms, in the spine, all the way to the hips, posting up on the hind feet, lifting the knees up, pressing the hips up and back for a downward facing dog, pedaling out the heels, allowing yourself to flip your perspective as you grip through the hands, Getting a lovely stretch in the back of the calves. Wonderful work, lovely light. Inhale, the left leg down. Three-legged dog, the right leg can lift as high as in your practice. And inhale, the foot towards the hand. You might need a helping hand. Hind knee tracks down. If you have any knee sensitivity, a block or a blanket. Lifting the hands up for a crescent lunge here. Pressing the knee up and just aligning over the hips and then bringing that knee past the ankle you can bring the hands in namaste mudra for a gentle back bend inhale finding your space arms cut horizontally twist towards the bent knee for a twisted runner's lunge exhale the hand on the left down right hand can reach up high to the sky for something deeper you can inhale lift that hind foot off of the earth big twist comes in you can create a little motion through that arm on the top working out any tension or tightness in the shoulder wonderful both hands meet down towards the mat creating a big wide open lizard pose letting the hip really deepen you can Keep the hands posted up here, or, or you can go down onto the forearms, whatever is in your practice. Welcome a big hip opening breath that radiates through the nose. Send it away, post up on the hind foot, coming back into your downward dog, resetting up your body. Wonderful. This time, the breath comes in, and that left heel is going to reach up, for that three-legged dog, wherever it feels best for you. Inhale, transition the body, hugging the knee towards the chin. Hind knee on the right comes down. Beautiful. You can take that knee in the front and really press into the hips. Hands can come at the Namaste Mudra, getting a really big opener in the hips here. Crescent lunge, hands can reach up to the sky for a gentle back bend, creating this opening in the hips. Welcome the breath. Exhale, you can deepen the stretch by cactusing the arms and really pressing that knee beyond the ankle joints. Just taking this at a space that feels good for you. Arms cut horizontally, twist towards the bent leg here for a beautiful twist in this runner's lunge. Right arm reaches down. Wonderful, big breath comes in. You can post up on the hind foot, squeeze through the inner thigh for a revolved runner's lunge. Welcome the breath that feeds the cells. Exhale, both, both hands reach down, coming to the knee and opening up for that lizard pose. So really just creating a little space in the hips and notice if it's feeling extra tense and tight. If you need a little rocking motion, you can exhale down to the forearms if this is in your practice being present with whatever is happening in the hips. Taking a moment to post up now on the hind foot. Heel reaches towards the long edge of the mat and then stepping back into and coming in a child's pose from a tabletop. Arms lengthen long, the knees can open wide, sinking the heart down and taking a moment to rest, to restore. A moment to repeat in the eye of your mind, I am grateful, I am grateful. What is it that you are grateful for? You woke up today, you are breathing today. That is a beautiful thing to be grateful for. Posting up on the hands and then walking to the right side, really expanding the left body and compressing the right. Here in this moment, what truly is it, my lovely, that you are grateful for? Who in your life are you so grateful for? Walk back to center, create a little bit more length from the tail to the top of the head to the fingers and walk the hands to the left, 
Expand the right body, contract the left, welcome the breath in. <sighs> really tuning into the gratitude of this moment, coming back to center and rippling the body weight forward and coming onto the belly. Hands reach forward, elbows stack under shoulders for a sphinx pose. Gentle back bend, hug through the belly, the inner thighs squeeze together. Taking a mindful moment into the heart center and noticing any tension or tightness in the shoulders. And doing your best to welcome that three count breath in. And send it away, three count. Exhale, the hands down below the shoulders, pushing the body up and back to a downward facing dog, pedaling out the heels. Three-legged dog, left heel reaches down, right heel comes up as high as you can. And inhale, hug that knee in towards the chin, coming in for a half of a pigeon. So that front leg heel drives towards the pelvic wall, doing a self-adjustment, spiraling the inner thigh up on the leg that's length and long. You can push the hip down, a block or a pillow or a blanket is lovely under the hip. Inhale, get a lovely back bend here. Welcome that three count in. And then you can exhale. I'm gonna reach for this block, which can help be a beautiful restorative way in this posture to rest my head on. So you can join down, stacking the fists, meeting your head towards the mat, getting a lovely stretch in the hip on the leg that's length and long. Taking a moment, maybe wiggling the hips side to side. How can you breathe compassion in for yourself in this moment? Whatever it is that you are struggling with, my lovely light, how can you be compassionate for that? And bringing the hands back underneath of the shoulders here and taking a mindful moment to, you can remove that block or whatever under your bottom, sit back on that bottom and that leg that's lengthened long, you can exhale the body and get a nice stretch. I'm going to turn to face you, my lovely light. So heel is still driven in. That left hand reaches up and over, getting this nice side stretch. You can rest the elbow on the thigh, resting on the side of the head, really stretching into the body with that three count breath in. And exhaling it out. Wonderful. Exhale. The heel can drive towards the body or for something a little deeper across the midsection. Leg goes over the opposite. Hug the leg and twist with me to the left. Big breath welcomes in. Wonderful. Sending it away. Untwisting the body. Lengthening that leg back long and coming back for your downward facing dog. Pedaling up the heels. Now opposite heel reaches up for that three-legged dog, whatever works best for you. Knee comes in and crosses over heel towards the pelvic wall. And notice if your body is trying to innately go onto the same side. So if it is, that's okay. Just go to the opposite side. Put that bolster block underneath of the hip. Self-adjustment. Spiral the leg that's lengthened long up. Hip reaches down. Heart opener. Hands can post up coming in here for a gentle back bend breathing compassion in for yourself in this moment and when you're ready you can get ready to exhale the body and the breath and fold forward for a more of a restorative half of a pigeon the block or stacked up fists or resting the head on the hands feels wonderful breathing compassion in for wherever you are today Reminding yourself that healing is a journey, it's not an end point. And yoga is a practice, it's not a perfect. And it's so important to meet yourself where you are today as you reach towards compassion and gratitude in this moment. Sending the breath away, bringing the awareness back into the hands. You can move that block or bolster, whatever you had out of the way. And now same thing we did on the opposite side, heel still reaches in towards the pelvic wall, leg lengthens long, elbow can bend and then rest the head and the hand, opposite arm reaches up and sweeps over the head. Big soothing breath comes in, 
sends it away. Wonderful breath welcomes in. Exhale, driving that leg that was length and long in towards the pelvic wall or crossing the leg for a deeper stretch, hugging in with the arm and the knee, twisting with a big welcoming breath in. Send the breath away here. Wonderful. Exhaling to the bottom and coming and bringing your body back down on the mat. Sometimes it's a grand old timber and it's not so pretty. You can bring the knees up towards the chest. Grab each knee and a different hand and just creating a little bit of a circular motion. You can roll out the ankles and the toes here. You can reach now towards the inner shins with the knees poking out and you can come in for a happy baby. You can also reach for the feet if that's not accessible. It's okay to stick with the shins or the ankles. You can quickly turn a happy baby into a joyful baby by rocking side to side, welcoming a breath of joy in for yourself. Because joy exists in this moment if you allow it to. Exhale, bend the knees down towards the mat. And you can start by windshield wiping legs side to side. Arms can be stretched out long, they can be cactused, creating a little bit of a lower back release, taking these at your own pace. You can exhale and cross the legs if that feels good for you and deepen your laying twist by being still on one side. Welcome the breath in, send it away. Noticing any tension or tightness. And bringing the knees back to center. And you can windshield wipe to reset the spine, the lower back up. And now coming in for that laying supine twist on the opposite side. You can bring both knees together or one leg can cross over the other to create a deeper stretch. Inhale the breath that comes in. And send it away. And just noticing what you're noticing in the back. Noticing what you're noticing in the breath. And send it away, wonderful. Bringing the legs back to center. And coming in for our Shavasana. I love putting blocks or bolster underneath me and my knees. Coming in for your final pose of surrender. Beginning by calling on the intention to surrender, to relax. Relaxing the head, softening the jaw. Relaxing the shoulders and arms and fingertips, allowing a wave of relaxation that washes from the heart to the belly, all the way down the spine and the sit bones, softening through the thighs and the knees and the calves to the shins, all the way creating a wave of relaxation that washes down to the toes. And I will allow you to surrender to what is and be in silence, and I will call you out when it is time. Exhale, stretch the arms long overhead, pointing the toes and hugging the knees into the chest. You can meet me in a fetal position on the side and receive these affirmations or whisper, I love you, I love you, I love you, I am grateful for you, I am grateful for you, I am grateful for you, I am always healing, I am always healing, I am always healing. And hugging that in, breathing compassion in, using the top arm as a kickstand and meeting in a seated position, bringing the palms, kissing palms to your heart center. The love and the light within me honors and acknowledges the love and the light within you. Namaste, my beautiful soul sister. Thank you for practicing with me.